here at Category 5 TV, I love cameras, obviously. I think so. Cameras are a, a great us. tool. And these days, cameras have evolved astronomically. Oh. I mean, we went from little action cams that shot very poor video, people using cell phones to shoot video, to now mm -hmm. the DJI Osmo 4K action cam. Oh, boy. We've stepped outside of the paradigm of a video camera now. And you may have seen the DJI Osmo where you can put your phone on a three-axis gimbal. And that's cool, yes. but I'm going to tell you, if I wanted to shoot video with my phone, then it's maybe that's like, the answer. It's like this, you know, you got a finger in the way. It just looks miserable. It's <laughs> plain and simple. You've got a lens that's this and big. Then, and then you got to go into your iCloud. I was going to say, when, we're, when you're deleting stuff off your hard drive, that reminds me of my iCloud every day. Oh, yeah? Similar kind of oh, scenario? Yeah. C should I delete this fond memory <laughs> to get this fond memory? Yeah. Well, I, I'm not one to like video that's shot with a cell phone or no. pictures that are taken on a cell phone. No. So this is the next evolution in the DJI, uh, DJI Osmo series and it, it includes DJI's um, 4K action camera and this is you know similar camera to what you would see on their drones and similar kind of gimbal system. Should we fire it up and actually take a look? Yeah. First of all, okay, switch. Ooh. What? More switch, more switch. Now it's kind of flimsy and feels kind of like, it's like a it's disco ball. Like, yeah, it just spins and spins, right? Wow. Let's fire it up and see what happens. I want to take the skiing. Oh. We need like the music in the background. <laughs> I'm going to hit record here and uh, let's see what. Uh, look at this. Wow. So it's the same DJI Osmo system uh, as far as the gimbal, how it functions and everything like that. Um, so I have, now if I turn it around here, you can see I have a control pad here. This is like a, a thumb pad that I can control the actual camera, move it around. Oh. I've got a couple of different controls. I've got a trigger right mm -hmm. here. So if I want to quickly shoot at you, I can do that. If I click on it three times, it's gone into selfie mode. So now I'm actually looking, it really, really quickly spins around, nice and smooth video. That pan is so nice. Hey, Sasha. I love it. So you see what, uh, what the gimbal system does wow. is it makes it so that even though this is a handheld camera, even though I'm Move, moving it like this, it stays, it's nice wow. and stationary and nice and smooth, right? So it yeah. kind of has an intelligence to it and moves in a nice, smooth, fluid motion. It also looks amazing. It feels it like it's like a futuristic like a robot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like making the video camera seem so obsolete now. Totally different paradigm, eh? <laughs> it's so different. I'm recording here to a micro SD card from Kingston, and it just records directly, and there you have it. Wow. A couple of specifications. Let's talk about the camera okay. itself, shall we? Yes. Okay, so the camera, as I said, it's a 4K action cam. The camera itself shoots at either 24 or 25p, so it's cinematic mode, looks mm -hmm. absolutely incredible, and you get some really nice smooth video there. Look at that. Like, you can see how much I'm moving it around here. And doesn't it also have Wi-Fi for monitoring? It does have Wi-Fi, so you can actually fire up your app on your phone. So DJI Go has this app. Let me pull it up for you so that you can actually see this. And you know, the, the apps are never something that I like to necessarily focus on mm -hmm. with, a, with a review. Um, but in DJI's case, it is kind of cool that you can set this up yeah. as... Uh, as something that is going to allow you to control and view what's on the camera screen. So this becomes a, a bit of a monitor for the camera. So all I have to do, I need to connect to this uh, as basically a Wi-Fi network. So the camera has a built-in Wi-Fi transmitter. So on my phone, I just have to bring up my Wi-Fi settings. It says I'm connected to Osmo. And now I can bring up the DJI Go app. And almost immediately, I've got video coming off of the camera. There we are. Okay, so with that video, now I'm hitting record. I'm record. There you go. There you go. Look at how smooth this is. As I wow. move the camera around, right? Now, oh, 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 I just lost connection. Oh, oh. oh. No, I didn't. It just brought up my Wi-Fi settings for some reason. Let's oh. try again. All right, here we go. It kind of felt like I lost connection there, but it was actually just my, my phone. There you go, okay. So it's a little bit choppy, you can see that, but it is just a monitor. The video itself, here you are, it's not choppy, it looks good. 
There you go, and I'm moving the camera huh. around all over the place. What I like is that you can get these nice smooth videos, even though you know my hand is shaky, yeah. right? I've been drinking a lot of coffee today. And I don't have any milk in my coffee, so it's just sugar. <laughs> So there you have it. Uh, Specifications-wise, it shoots uh, up to 120 frames a second at 10, in 1080p mode. Wow. So you've got a really nice slow yep. motion. Um, but you can uh, also shoot um, the 4K, as I mentioned, at up mm -hmm. to 25 frames a second. So it's not slow motion at 4K, but it's nice crystal clear video. And that gimbal system really gives you a nice smooth video. And I'm, st I'm still connected here. You can go, apparently, you can take this up to about 85 feet yeah. from the transmitter. And that's crazy. Well, you figure, like, say you were in the field with me. Yeah. You could hold this. Yeah. I could be walking around with the camera doing run and gun. Yeah. And you, you can see what's going on and control the, the shots from here. Huh. So I can actually um, do some controls with my finger here on the screen. And I'm not overly familiar with the entire controls but there are controls here that mm -hmm. I can work with the with the screen itself hmm. um, and that's the DJI Go app but from here I've got full control over the camera mm -hmm. entirely um, the gimbal of course is built in everything is built in it supports time-lapse video and does some super smooth panoramas I don't know if you've ever seen anything that can quite do this but let's just say you know I, I'm gonna put the camera here 60 yeah. yeah okay that's so cool. then so if I go off a ski jump and I do a 360, the camera will follow me? Huh? <laughs> Don't know how you figure. Maybe? This is a run and gun camera, so you've got to have somebody operating this. This isn't one that you're going to put on your helmet or Correct. anything like that, right? I'll get, some, I'll get uh, Sasha to go beside me. You guys seeing this? <laughs> huh? It's just going and going. Now, there is a stop. If I speed it up here, you'll see it only goes to there. So uh -oh. it, that was, what, about three rotations? Yeah. I'd say, somewhere around there. The smartphone holder, there is a smartphone yeah. holder that will place your, your phone right here, Does which is pretty cool. Yeah. The photo burst, you can do seven shots per photo burst. You know what? That's pretty cool because you can take pictures like that. That's so if you're doing some action phone. cam shots. That's the only way I ever get a good shot is if it's a if it's if it's photo, the photo burst. I, I do the burst and then I'm just yeah. like, okay, that one. Not those ones. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> So that's the DJI Osmo, and uh, that's the 4K camera built into the gimbal. What do you guys think of that? You can pick one up at cat5.tv slash Osmo, and that's spelled O-S-M-O. There you go. Wow, it's probably the coolest camera I've ever seen. Any questions about that one? It, I do like yeah, the... Anything in the news? It's, it's a different feel to it than yep. using any kind of uh, you know, other action camera that I've ever used. It's different. And the you fact can't that, mount it to anything. Like. And the fact that it's just one hand use. It keeps a whole sure. other end free. When I used to hold the camera, I'd have my hand here. And, you know. Well, and with the gimbal system, you don't have to worry about holding it perfectly smooth either. No. It does have a tripod mount on the side here, but it's mm -hmm. a little bit strange because it's on the side. 90 degrees. Yeah. yeah, so if you put it on a tripod, the camera's going to be looking the wrong way. So I'm huh. not too sure on that one, but that's not a little bit... the whole 360, yeah. Yeah, but of... that does allow us to have some expandability as long Correct. as your tripod has a vertical, vertical mode. All so right, well, check it out. Tripod. It's cat5.tv slash Osmo, and you'll be able to check out that camera and find out more about it. Now, w this is the first of a two-part series on action cams, and we're going to be comparing all of our action cams together. Um, tonight was the first one, and we're, we've got a showdown uh, coming next week on episode 481. And uh, on that episode, we're going to be comparing the quality of several 4K action cams, so you don't want to miss out on that, especially if it's on your Christmas list or uh, you're planning on picking one up for somebody. Uh, you want to make sure you check that out and find out what uh, what one's going to be the best for your use case.